Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got multiple big stories for you, starting with Intel's 11th gen desktop leak, Zen 3 based Milan was spotted, AMD's full Threadripper Pro lineup, and Nvidia's RTX 3000 release date. But first, if you're looking at getting parts for your next PC, check out kit.co slash gamermelt, where I go over hardware suggestions based on component type. I also give a short description for why you may or may not want a certain part. Not only that, but when you follow the links, you're helping the channel out. And this is fairly early, so I'll be adding a ton more in the near future, as well as keeping it updated as new hardware comes out. So visit kit.co slash gamermelt today. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, video cards shared a photograph from a reliable source. And of course, video cards is very reliable themselves, so it is likely true. Anyway, you can see they shared an image that mentions Rocket Lake, and if you followed the channel, you know Rocket Lake is Intel's 11th gen desktop CPUs. Now, they're still based on 14 nanometers, but it utilizes a new architecture that's backported from 10 nanometers. No one's really sure if it's Sunny Cove or Willow Cove, but one thing is certain. These are weird. As we move back to the image, you can see these are vPro models, which should have a similar mainstream model, but there can be more models besides these. Either way, you can see the i5 is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. That's obviously not surprising, but what is, is the i7, which is an 8-core, 12-thread CPU, so not double the threads like usual. When we look at the i9, you can see it's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. Now you may be wondering where the 10 core part is, and that's the thing. We've been hearing for a little while now that 11th gen won't have a 10 core. That's obviously weird of Intel, but maybe, just maybe, their new architecture is good enough to more than compensate for the difference. That is interesting, but it's also sad as it makes you wonder just how much better they could have been on 10 nanometers. Lastly here, you can see that Intel is apparently refreshing Comet Lake for their i3 and Pentium processors. Next up for today, AMD Zen 3 based Epic Milan server CPUs have been spotted. For those who don't know, Zen 3 is AMD's next generation architecture that their 4th gen desktop Ryzen CPUs will be based on. The story was originally published by Igor's lab, who was sent benchmarks on engineering samples of the upcoming CPUs. You can see that there's two 64 core CPUs and one 32 core. The two 64 core parts apparently have a maximum TDP of 225 watts with a configurable TDP up to 240 watts. The 32 core part comes with a maximum TDP of 180 watts configurable up to 200. According to Igor, these are early A0 samples and the highest clock part got up to 3 GHz. Of course, with these being early engineering samples, that almost certainly won't be the final clocks. Either way, it's great news that we're seeing these out in the wild and shows things are going very well over at AMD. Next up for today, it looks like the recent leak on Threadripper Going Pro was accurate as the entire lineup has now been leaked. The new CPUs were originally shared by video cards who leaked AMD slides that give us just about everything. Starting things off, you can see we have four models with even 12 and 16 core parts, so Threadripper is starting to encroach on AMD's Ryzen lineup. Well, these really encroach on pretty much everything, but I'll get to that in a second. Starting things off, we have the 12-core 24-thread 3945WX, which comes with a base clock of 4 GHz and a boost of 4.3. Next, there's the 16-core 32-thread 3955WX, which comes with a base clock of 3.9 GHz and a boost of 4.3. Moving up, we have a 32-core 64-thread 3975WX. It comes with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 4.2. And finally is the behemoth 64-core 128-thread 3995WX, which comes with a base clock of 2.7 GHz and a boost of 4.2. So with that said, you probably noticed that these come with lower clocks when compared to their non-pro counterparts. That's likely to make them last longer, but the difference doesn't stop there. It comes with double the PCI Express 4.0 lanes as well as 8 channel ECC support for up to 2 terabytes of memory. That's unreal. Pro models typically just get the added security and better warranty, etc. But these are major changes. Honestly, it almost looks like a single socket Epic. It's amazing. Basically, it's clear that AMD is going all in with Threadripper. Lastly for today, I've got a big story from Chinese site IT Home. In it, they're claiming that the RTX 2070, 2070 Super, 2080 Super, and 2080 Ti have all been discontinued. 
That obviously means Nvidia is prepping for the RTX 3000 series launch, and according to IT Home, that's set for September 17th. Now, I will say that they aren't 100% sure about that date, but given we've heard September before and Nvidia is discontinuing last gen products, I'd say it's pretty much guaranteed to be coming very, very soon. Also, according to the Chinese site MyDrivers, Nvidia has sent out information to their AIB partners that claims demand for their cards are expected to increase due to increased interest in mining. Basically, Nvidia has to release something soon or we're likely going to see a ton of shortages. And let's just say nobody wants to see that again. So while that does it for today, are you ready for Nvidia's next gen GPUs or what about Intel's 11th gen CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.